Hey guys, Danny here, and today I'm going to be playing some Daisy Caribou. I know it's a, bit, a little bit different to what I normally like to do, which is just get some action of me and my friends playing, and there's a player running across there in the distance. And that was a terrible way to start an intro, and then, okay, I just got a bit freaked. But basically, Daisy Caribou is something new that I haven't played before, as I've been so busy in school that I actually haven't played the Daisy 1.8 patch, which is pretty interesting to me, because I haven't seen the new gear menu and whatnot. So I decided to hop on this, it looked fun, I've seen a few YouTubers do this as a video. Um, a few things that they've done in this, they've um, custom vehicles, like vehicle skins, like I know they have a new SUV. I know they have new actual skins, new backpacks, I'm wearing one of the backpacks right now, there's a player right there. Shit. Um, yeah, you get the idea. Okay, I'll try to drop this guy in one shot, a clean shot. Yeah, he's tagged. Okay, hit twice. Okay, he's dead. Okay, so where was I? Um, It has some of the new guns, like the MK16, MK17, the M8, the Venturas, the KSVK, all that stuff that's not in the normal DayZ, but it's in a lot of the newer mods. Um, it's an actual new map. I'll get off this ladder and I'll show you the actual map straight away. The t it's apparently got good client performance. I'm getting about 45 FPS right now when I'm recording, and that's pretty good. It has day zero kind of buildings, like the hospital is a day zero building. There is those small military ones, like the little military outpost kind of building. There on the map, there's one on the other side of that wall that I could have shown you, but I didn't because I forgot. Uh, so it's that kind of thing. It's pretty good. There's, as the, as you know, the new. Uh, Backpack, colour correction, which makes it look better, I guess. I don't know how. There's a 2 kilometer view distance, which I don't know how true that is. And it is first person only. So, all you people that wanted to see first person only, I'm going to be playing this. And hopefully you enjoy that. So let's go see what this guy had. Oh. Okay, maybe he's a fresh one. I thought he had a weapon from the way he's running. Um... Okay, maybe this didn't go too well to start. Oh no, he did have a weapon. He's one of the shittest weapons known to man. The AK 74U. Absolutely terrible. Never, ever take it. It's my one thing of advice. But he did have all the gear that I can loot. Which is helpful. It saves me going into a town. Uh, Coke, painkillers. Um. I know the rage bull is a cool pistol, but how do I get out of this now? I don't know. Okay, that's made it for Ah, I see. Okay. There's a raging bull pistol, but he doesn't have any ammo for it, so that's not something I really want. Um actually no, I'm not gonna take that. Okay. Um what I was gonna say is I know this is a bit different to the usual just kidding, but I don't have a lot of the time time that I used to have on the weekends, so I can't actually just go play for like six hours and then just use all the footage of that. I just don't have the time. So I thought I'd do like more of a playthrough, quite heavy editing on it so it's not too boring. And hopefully it's interesting to watch. As I I still love to play Daisy the whole time on the weekends, but I just don't I just cannot get the time to play it like I used to. I don't know how, why that was so hard to say. It just was. So there's an airfield area over there. And these look like crusher. Ah, oh, okay. I ca I cannot English at the moment. This looks like a crushed chopper site. So does that from a distance. But no, they're bo burning oil rigs or something because this map is oil themed. As you can hear, that machinery back there is all for pumping oil. I don't get why they chose that, but it's something interesting, something new I haven't really seen before. Even though it's probably incorporated in one of the maps already. So I'm gonna head into this town, see what's in there have a bit of fun. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Okay, it seems to be a bit of a tussle going on over here. Probably in that little section of town. Might have a quick look over there and see what's going on. So I have played this map two lives. Now I haven't gotten to explore a huge amount because it seems to spawn you in roughly the same location every time. So you just spawn, maybe get like a Lee Enfield and then die, unless you're in a squad and then I guess you have a 
a chance of getting some good weapons, but hopefully I'm going to get some decent solo play, because I can't get them on the moment. They're just away busy on Fridays, and that's when I'm recording it now. So it's a bit of high ground here that I can get to look over the place. Someone crushed a helicopter there, and it made one hell of a mess. Okay, there is a server restart coming up soon. Uh, days alive, Annie. Don't, what? Next restart, minus one hour 37. Okay, that's really helpful. Um, it's 29 people in the server. There's, it is a 35 slot server, because it's hosted by BMRF. They're quite low population, but the map is pretty small, so I'm pretty sure you will get some good um, encounters. There's a 5 slot reserve slot for people who donate as well. Because BMRF always do that. Which makes sense if you want to help them out, I guess. There are new player skins on this, and hopefully I get to find one of them. You should be really careful in this terrain. This is someone with the ghillie suit. This is perfect for them. But they can just sit in the trees, pick people off if they've got a good sniper rifle and a good shot. That's hopefully what I don't run into. Okay, there's another compound over there with zombies. Okay, those zombies just spawned in, so it's probably just me spawning them in. But the far side of it, I'm not too sure. Just not too sure. And these are some kind of underground tunnels. So I like the theme of the map, it's pretty cool. That's a car over there, but I don't know. I think they're just troll cars, the ones that you can't actually drive. No idea where, where I'm going either. Is the sun out at all? Nope. As usual, really helpful. Okay, there's a player over there on that road. Just... In my crosshairs now. He's just come behind some trees. He's just there. The white really helps you stick out on this map. Which is not a good thing. So I'm gonna keep an eye on him. Okay, he's disappeared. I no longer. Oh no, he's gone up that hill. Let's keep an eye on him just in case. I might actually follow him because I doubt anything up here is gonna be helpful at all. Probably a cryer crash one, all the bodies are gone. The usual. The service is starting in five minutes. Okay. I should probably try to find a town that I can access some gear. I'll just get up somewhere near the top of the hill, have a look, be able to have a look around. And that'll be perfect. 